Welcome back everyone to GGN. This is the third and final part for today, June 18th, 2012. Check out my website, it's ggnonline.com, and on YouTube, my channel is ddarko2012, and my backup is ddarko2013. So you just saw a video there. That's actually for police, I believe, or sheriffs. Uh, it says here, Richland County deputies prepare for Navy SEAL style training in California. So as if the police weren't militarized enough, they're going to do it even more with Navy SEAL style training in California. That's right, 12 hour overnight workout. So, and it says here that the deputies are going through, uh, what, a 12 hour workout. They are training for a July trip to California where they will endure a 50 hour SEAL fit camp. So, So it says here that um, the SEAL fit uh, waived the $1,400 or almost $1,500 enrollment fee for each of the deputies and the Sheriff's Department is paying their airfare through forfeited drug money. Pharmaceutical drugs? No, we're talking about marijuana and stuff like that. Uh, basically stolen property. So they also do that to um, put back into their cruisers to soup them up and stuff like that and get all their little cool little toys. But all of this does make sense because if you remember the article I covered about basically a program that the federal government has where they allow plenty of funds to flow in police department's direction and that is to militarize the police, to create a police state. So, so we have Minneapolis police officer punches man unconscious on bar patio in Andover. So a father of four from Ramsey, Minnesota is not spending the Father's Day as anyone would like, and it goes on and it says that Brian Vander Lee is fighting for his life at Mercy Hospital. Supposedly, Vander Lee was on the patio uh, around 7 p.m. Saturday night, and Vander Lee was talking loud on his cell phone when a stranger at another table asked him to be quiet. Minutes later, uh, this Archambault, whatever, spoke to Vander Lee as he was pulling into the parking lot, but the cell phone went dead. He said he did a Superman punch, uh, Archibald said. Uh, Brian went back, feet up in the air, and the guy landed on top of him, and his head bounced off the concrete. So apparently the man ran off, according to uh, witnesses, and it also says that uh, this individual has been with the department since 93 and is currently the executive officer of the SWAT team. So he wasn't just unconscious, he actually had some brain trauma. So. It says here, Royd Raging Cop Shoots Up Neighborhood, Get Ready for More Gun Control. Uh, this uh, Richard Clem, whatever, Clem Topovich, uh, the 42-year-old Clifton, New Jersey police officer who barricaded himself in the home of his ex-wife in nearby Doylestown uh, and basically turned a quiet neighborhood into a free fire zone, was apparently attempting to commit suicide by cop. It says here, an admitted steroid user who was paid $114,000 in 2011, described himself as angry at this job and at law enforcement, and that it's them who I will take out my anger on. So he says here, they will do the job I couldn't and take my life, wrote the 14-year law enforcement veteran. So despite the deployment of paramilitary operators and heavy weaponry, including a tank-like vehicle, the standoff ended in anti-climatic fashion. Okay, so here you go. Displaying uncommon restraint, the police allowed one of their own to surrender to a negotiator before popping them in the head like they usually do to other suspects. Then we have this Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell to Newsmax. Obama poses greatest threat to free speech in modern times. But wait a minute, he brandishes or branded his administration or regime astonishingly left-wing. But we just saw uh, an article where Obama's professor said that he should not be reelected because he failed as a progressive. So a progressive is a left winger. And his own professor saying that Obama is not that. So if he's not that, he's not right wing, what is he? Well, you can figure it out. He's an international globalist corporatist piece of scum. Just like Bush, just like the ones that preceded him. So he accused the Obama regime of using government agencies like the 
Federal Election Commission, the FCC, the Securities and Exchange Commission, and the IRS to embarrass and silence its critics. So, in other words, he's trying to use the power of the government to shut people up. And he says that they haven't seen that uh, type of stuff since Nixon. Never seconds blogger Martha Payne's school dinner photo ban lifted. So, a ban on the photo that uh, this individual took of uh, her healthy meal has been lifted. A controversial ban preventing a nine-year-old girl from photographing her school meals has been lifted following a storm of protests on the internet. So there you go, free speech. Watch your language. Massachusetts town approves $20 fine for public cursing, loud profanity targeted. So this is the land of the free. Remember, residents in Middleborough have voted to make the foul mouth among them pay fines for swearing in public. So you have a right to be of, uh, not offended by other people's speech. So, so they say it's not intended to censor casual private conversations. Well, what do you think it's going to do? You know, it's just going to, um, like snooping on your neighbor, ratting them out for something. So if you see some, say something, it sense, it's basically sets the template to start doing that, to start listening to other people. So a local fascist said, I'm really happy about it. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be some fallout, i.e. people are going to lose their rights, but I think what we did was necessary. So it's always necessary, right? Ottawa Airport wired with microphones as border services prepares to record travelers' conversations. So this is necessary because there's big bad terrorists out there. That's right, the FBI and uh, most of the terrorist things are actually FBI informants and CIA assets. But it does, never mind that. Never mind that 9/11 was quote an inside job. So it's all built off a phony uh, illusion of terror. Well. And of course, the reason for this is what? Oh, because it's a customs controlled area for arriving international passengers. Well, we know that these globalists don't give a flying shit about borders or border security, right? On the southern border and northern border. It's all about the economic and security um, partnerships between Canada, Mexico, and the United States, also known as the North American Union. So they want those borders to be open. They want the flow of goods to be flowing easily. They want passengers to be able to have, you know, go and travel throughout all these countries with, with you know, uh, basically no infringement. And here's the usual BS. It is important to note that even though the audio technology is installed, no audio is recorded at this time. So it will become functional at a later date, but whenever that occurs, the technology will record conversations, unquote, the agency said. Meanwhile, as many as 88 of the new high-definition defi video cameras are ready to be installed this summer. And isn't this so nice of them? They said here that signs will be posted referring passerbys to a privacy notice that will be posted on the website. And I just said in the last video, Israel is an asset for the United States and the U.S. is an asset for Israel. Facebook acquires Israeli facial recognition company. So, I mean, we understand that Facebook was basically brought about by what DARPA and the CIA and little shadow uh, companies, zombie companies to fund it, right? And then you got Zuckerberg at the head of it, head of it so, right? But the biggest thing is it's... The purpose of Facebook is it's supposed to be a humongous, like Google, uh, infrastructure, piece of infrastructure to collect information on everybody. So it says here, receive national emergency alerts on Apple devices. So yeah, now they have this new thing for government alerts, so, right? Because the government's going to be there to, to help you in times of disaster. We have new Girls Around Me iPhone app helps you stalk women. So Girls Around Me scans for women who have checked in on Foursquare so you can find her and tell her you found her on the internet. And I was just talking to someone recently about it that you're going to see it. It's probably already happening, like in a quote, black market, but people are going to pay to have cameras installed as if they're not already in their cable boxes. But either way, um, they're going to uh, actually get paid monthly credits to have themselves spied on. Basically, like all these cameras, like voyeurism. So people can have like accounts and they can pay to look in and see what other people are doing. You've seen movies and shows about that. But uh, I, see, I definitely see that in our near future. And of course, what? They're gonna have people that are gonna wanna pay to uh, just basically look in on other people. So mom says teacher had students slap her son, a mother of a six-year-old boy, says her son was slapped by each of his classmates on the orders of their teacher as a form of discipline. So even the bully's friends didn't want to hit him, but the teacher instructed them to hit him. So right now, this is kind of like social engineering blowback for um, uh, these types of uh, uh, people that accept this theory of tolerance and, and anti-bullying and stuff like that. Uh, eventually, it'll get like this to where this will be widely accepted, right? 
to basically um, lynch or haze people like that. But for right now, we're not there yet. So, dad, dad charged with tossing toddler in creek. So a man is accused of tossing his two-year-old daughter into a creek while she was still strapped in a car seat uh, and was indicted Monday on a murder charge. So, uh, I just want, I'm sorry. I, you know, it's like, if you want to get an abortion, get an abortion. But I just thought, I'm like, wow. I mean, like, there's people that get, like, what, late-term abortions, eight months almost. And it's like, uh, eventually I see, like, them calling them out of womb abortions where they'll be like two years old and they'll consider it abortion right oh they'll call it like out of womb late term abortion so i don't see how this is any different from what people are doing every day and it doesn't make the news but i do understand why it doesn't make the news because there is an agenda right and it's called eugenics it's called negative eugenics and the best thing is to have stupid naive people that um, actually carried out for you. I mean, that's the best. That's the best case scenario. Death Summit 2012, a window into 21st century eugenics. So the author of this article basically um, includes this, Environment and Development Challenges that Imperative to Act, written by uh, eugenicist James Hansen and Lovelock of the NASA. And it goes on here. It says it's a manifesto. Uh, the impatient friends call for global implementation of pol population, sorry, policies and rights being trampled upon in order to address what they call the population issue, right? The population issue should be urgently addressed by education and empowerment of women, including in the workforce and in rights, ownership and inheritance, health care of children and elderly, talking about eugenics again, and making modern contraception accessible to all. Then I saw this story. My mom agreed to put me on birth control when I was 14, says Kim Kardashian. Remind me of a story someone just told me recently where they knew of somebody at school where their mom was ha having the school force the girl, like it was like 13 or something like that, to take birth control pills every day. It's pure madness. So at Earth Summit, Royal Society, and the World Wildlife Foundation, humanity is an unsustainable danger to Earth's ecosystem. So the experts say the overall message is that we need to renew focus on both population and consumption which is why you're talking about austerity now. There's a city council that's going to buy wheelie bins, garbage bins for homeless to store their possessions in. And they're going to have a different color, brightly colored, so that they're not confused with garbage bins. That's how much they think of the homeless. Swedish left party chapter wants to make urinating while standing illegal for men. They say it's for hygienic purposes, but I read in the comment board, someone said exactly what I was thinking, which is this is about the feminization of men. This is about killing men. That's what it's about. So they're just sitting, squatting when they're peeing. They're going to make it a law. This is the same country, Sweden, who wants to have a gender-neutral country. A country that tries to banish gender so that you can say he or her in school. We have the Taliban to ban polio vaccinations for children until the U.S. stops its drone strikes. They said almost every resident of North Waziristan has become a mental patient because of the drone strikes, which are worse than polio. On one hand, the U.S. spends millions of dollars to eliminate polio, while on the other hand, it kills hundreds of with the help of its slave, Pakistan. Remember in the last set of videos, I covered how the Pakistanis were saying that they're blaming paralysis on the CIA's vaccination program when they did uh, the raid on bin Laden. That never really happened. And as, Ch as China launches its first female astronaut into space, they're finding that the Chinese astronauts, along with the Communist Party, are fed special supplied food. That's right, a secret supply base. While China has to recall its infant formula due to unusual levels of mercury. And another Tibetan self-immolates. This is GGN. Thank you.